YouTube, what's going on, y'all? What is going on? So this right here, this is a live commentary, a live tutorial. I mean, I don't even know what you, what we call it, but um, it's basically just me. Gonna, I'm just gonna be doing the same old, same old, just talking. Uh, this is live commentary though, like while I'm playing stuff. So, but it's gonna be me kind of jabbering on about uh, you know, the things we want to see from our teammates in the wreck, like what makes a good wreck teammate. Cause you know we've gone through a lot of the things. I never really gone to the basics of just saying what what am I looking for in a rec teammate and like what are the things we should all be looking for in a uh, with a rec teammate. Cause uh you know we all deal with a lot of toxicity out here and that it is what it is. You know um and so I kind of want to get into it and just say the things that I'm looking for and what we should all be looking for in teammates and let's just you know let's try to be less toxic, man. We see the flopping and the. Uh, the purposely getting three in the key and stuff like that. We just gotta be better teammates, yo. Like when we go play pickup games at the gym and stuff like that, and IRO, like we're not, we wouldn't, we wouldn't waste nobody's time like that. So, you know, I'm just gonna get into what we're looking for in teammates. You know, we we've all had great teammates, we all had bad teammates. But before we, before really I start talking, you know, appreciate all the support again, again, again. Like I, I love all the support. I want y'all to keep that up. Keep keep telling y'all friends about me. Keep telling everybody you know about me. You know, we're putting in that work put in that work so you know keep keep saying good stuff you know keep keep putting the word out tell a friend to tell a friend um you know i'm trying to trying to blow this thing up for the for the next 2k so we're really taking off um you know like i said like the video subscribe comment and just keep the channel active man keep it alive we're gonna keep pushing but yeah so right here you see what we're doing right now we're getting active out here great fast break to start the game like the one thing I'll say about, uh, you know, the game is broken into sections, you know, the game of basketball 2K. The one thing I'll say is, uh, yeah, the first thing that makes a good teammate is not being toxic, is not being, uh, you know, just being a good team player, you know, that can go a long way in this stuff. You know, I don't want, like, that, that'd that be the first thing for sure is, uh, don't flop on your teammates. Just because your teammate misses an open shot, don't don't ice him out of the offense and not use him anymore. You know, when I'm playing with a buddy or something, and it's just two of us in here, and I got randoms on my team. Like I, I be, I got random people on my team I don't even know. Like I, I be sharing the ball all the time. You know, because that's just good ball. Like I said, you wouldn't go to a pickup gym in real life and and waste people's time and make people look stupid and do dumb stuff. So, like I said, don't be toxic. Uh, keep the trust with your teammates unless you see them doing full troll stuff. Like. Like, like if somebody's trolling your time, then yeah, I mean it. You you can feel free to do that, but like I said, not everybody's gonna get ten shots a piece. Not everybody's gonna do this, that. Not everybody's gonna make every shot. So you know, just you just gotta keep a good vibe with your team. You know, even if it isn't talking, I'm just saying like getting like somebody takes a heavily contested shot and misses. Like say that would have been say he would have missed that and wouldn't green that. You know, we're still getting back on DS next possession. We're still doing stuff like that. Like. You know, all this is, the purpose of this is to push, uh, just good games in the wreck. Just push good games, push good vibes, you know, we want to see good basketball. It's the same thing you got, like I said, I always, I'm always going to bring this up. It's the same reason why we put, we go to the YMCA, we go to the local college, we play pickup ball. It's the same reason, you're there to play hoops, you're there to have a good time. We get on 2K, have a good time. Not every game you're going to get the most shots. Not every game you're going to get great looks. Sometimes you're gonna have to be more of a defender. Sometimes you're more of the offensive player. It's just like real life. Nothing different. Um. Yeah, you know I'm. Look at this. Come on. Pushing the ball. I see you can't. I can see my point guards are scoring, man. I'm gonna hook them up and catch and shoot situations. Let them rock. You know, if I'm playing off off ball from him, you know, I'm just gonna space it out and let him do his thing. That's what I see. If I see my guards a score, I'm gonna let them score. But that's another thing I'll tell point guards. You know, I, I play quite a bit of point guard in the rec. You know, let's uh, you know, cause I get both sides of it. You know, I gotta play devil's advocate. You know, um, you know, everybody's not out there to shoot zero shots and watch the game, of course. But in the same thought, like I know we're all not gonna get the same shots, but somebody's not trying to play a four quarter game and get one shot you know i think for sure people i think every single player on the court should have at least five shots you know most games perfectly like if you're having a great game most players should have over 10 points 
I mean, every player should have over 10 points. You know, everybody should be getting their reps in. Everybody should be vibing out. Everybody should be getting touches. Ball should be moving. Right now, I've seen we missed the power forward a couple times. I missed the power forward a couple times. Just made the wrong pass. Like, that's fine. Like, if you get missed open... That, and that's another thing I'll say, too. Power forward's at the line shooting. If you get missed on an open look off the ball... Oh, don't start calling timeouts in your team. Don't start. We got to all come together as one with this. Uh, like, you know, people start spamming timeouts. People don't get looked off one time. And it's not even like, like, if you ever get looked off by me, I'm not looking you off. I'm just, I just don't see you. Like, sometimes people just don't see you sometimes. But, you know, I keep, we keep the ball moving. We keep playing team basketball. Like I said, just pretend it's a basketball game like it is. <laughs> we don't got to pretend it's a basketball game. Pretend we're all on the same team, which we are, we ain't gotta pretend, but just pretend we're like, we're actual real teammates, like, man missed two free throws, it's all good. Back on defense with it. I gotta say who the users are on the team, alright, they got one computer, which is triangles. And yeah, if y'all see y'all got a computer on you, you're gonna be guarded and smothered basically most of the game, so. Just understand, it just might be one of those games. Anytime I say I got a computer on me, I just understand this, I might have to turn up on defense to get my rep get my uh, player upgraded like it's just it is what it is computer likes to hug and they don't like to sh face out a lot oh shoot See, like I know I was wide open I'm pretty sure I'm pretty certain he probably just didn't know what my icon was it is what it is that's fine good game right now uh, second thing I'll say is uh yeah move the ball on offense uh point cards Especially like me, like I'll say it myself is playing point guard and direct, you know, I'm not looking to hold the ball for more than five seconds. Like I'll look to get mine, like I'll dribble around. I'll, I'll make a couple moves, two, three moves, look to get open. If I'm not open, I'm looking to pass the ball. I'm looking for somebody else to move around and get open. So yeah, I say move the ball around. Uh, play as a team, you know, don't don't sit there and dribble left, left right dribble for... Nobody wants to sit there and watch you left right dribble the clock for 16 seconds of the shot clock and then throw it to somebody with not much time left to work. You know, nobody wants to watch that. So, you know, offense, don't be a, uh, you know, if you're open, take your shots. If you're a point guard and they're leaving you open and you're making moves and you're doing your thing, take your shots. And that's another thing I'll say too. If you get defense rebounds, R1L one won that thing. Usually somebody's open on the break. R1L one won, throws the ball to the deepest person down the floor, close to the hoop. Ah, bad pass by me. You know, it's all it's all team related stuff. You know, it's a team game. Some people are gonna have big games though. What what off ball people gotta understand? Some people are gonna have big games. You know, some people are gonna score 40, 50, 60. Some people are gonna have their games. I said, just imagine it's basketball IRL. You know, in real life and NBA and stuff like that, people people have big games. You know, not every other guy shouldn't come out there and average 70 a night. You know, sometimes you gotta pass that damn ball. Let's see, sometimes the. And notice kind of like what your teammates like to do, you know, if you got teammates that catch and shoot, you got teammates that like to post up sometimes, like get, get everybody some touches, you know. Everybody shouldn't expect to all get the equal amount of shots, we shouldn't all get 10 shots every game. Like right there, I'm still looking, like right there, I'm looking to pass at that point, but I see an open spot on the floor, I'm shooting. I said, it just has to be uh, just common understanding with each other, is that like we're all not perfect with it we're all not making the right pass at the right time sometimes we're looking to score and we don't see the open guys sometimes we're looking to pass and we don't see we're open uh you know like i said we just gotta have understanding with each other there you go that's too. if you see somebody has a computer on them and they're setting a screen for you run the run your run your uh Run your matchup into the screen, the computer usually always switch and then the user guarding you will get confused and follow you. And then it'll leave a guy wide open, whoever computer is guarding. That's like, like those little unselfish things, find out those little tendencies, like that right there, like... I could probably run my guy off of triangle screen a lot this game and get him a lot of open shots. But like, something as simple as like, just doing that. Ah! Get in there! He blocked the ball in the hoop! A little friendly flop, <laughs> a little friendly flop as a team. Come on, good pass. Dunk that. Good stuff. We're just having a good game right now. Like I said, we're playing good team ball right now. Uh, 
Everybody, look at look at the shot selection. Like the shot shot disparity. I mean, it's just great. Like you see our our PG. You can tell he likes to score the ball. He can score the ball. But we're all moving the ball. We're all sharing it. Ooh. Like I said, some games some games everybody is gonna get equal shots. Some games some games your point guard is gonna have 20 shots and you're gonna have four four or five shots. Like that's why I said sometimes you just gotta see what type of game it is. Not every game is gonna be like that. It is what it is. But at, at, the, at the end of the day, we just got to have the common goal. We're trying to win the game. Like I said, you get a lot of rep when you win the game. If you go for 35 and 10 and you lose the game, you're not getting nothing. You're getting barely anything. You just got to remember that. Like, you know, you don't get, you don't show up to a pickup game to lose games. You know, you're coming out there being competitive, trying to win. You know, if somebody's trolling you and somebody's, uh, if somebody's like trolling the team and they're a bad point guard and they're not passing and they're not scoring. Like if you're not passing the ball, you better. That's why I tell people: if you're not passing the ball, you better be scoring that thing. But I'll understand if you're dogging the team out and you got 60 and you're scoring every possession. Like, am I gonna feel away? Yeah. Of course, I'm gonna feel like. Sometimes you look me off. Sometimes, yeah, of course, it's fine to feel away, but you know you don't gotta ruin the whole flow of the game by just trolling and flopping and getting three in the key. Like that's just that don't fix nothing. It just ruins the whole game. We're all in here playing a sloppy game for four quarters. I think we're all people in this game. We all we all want the same thing. Come out, have a good game, play a good game. Like I've lost close games. Like as long as we're making it competitive, as long as people are getting touches. A right, good shot, kid. Back to it. Just simple stuff. Simple stuff. I said, I said, anybody if like most people I assume that play 2K grew up playing a sport, grew up playing or watching a sport, and they understand it's a team sport. Like I said, we, can, we just can't be toxic with it. And then uh, defensively a bit, this is a big thing I see too is uh, for people is uh, defense is on, de on the defense side of the ball. You know, people got to play unselfishly. People got to play team defense. I see too much pride defense. People are following their guy around. People aren't trying to step up for the next man. They're all worried about how much their guy has. You know, sometimes that's what it, it, that that's what it takes. Like sometimes your guy's killing you and he's scoring 30 points and you're actually and he's actually putting moves on you and destroying you. So you got to have some pride in your defense. But at the same time, you know if the, if a team's running raps, like you see a team they run a lot of raps, people are running around each other. Y'all got to be unselfish. Y'all got to be able to hand your player off to the next person and step up. Like right there, one of us should have probably stepped up. He got beat on the press. You know, it's always playing for the next person on the floor. You should always be you know, you see somebody else's man's open, you should be able to step up and help. And somebody should also notice that you had to help somebody else, so they got to help you. Like, it's just everybody playing for each other on defense. I don't like when everybody's chasing chasing their guy on the wraparounds. And, you know, someone's always open every time because we're just playing prideful defense. He's got to play a team defense oriented game. Like when raps happen, they shouldn't be open all the time. Somebody should be picking up for somebody. Just because you have an arrow point to what your matchup is, don't. Dunk, man. Doesn't mean you necessarily have to follow that person. Like, start the possession, sure. Absolutely. We have to have a base. We have to know where we're at. But when they start running around and it gets chaotic, like, we gotta... Like, because, you know, a lot of us, we're not playing with our mics on when, we, when we're playing the game. You know, we're either in a party talking to uh, people we know that are playing a different game or anything like that. Like... We just got to have basketball knowledge and basketball understanding just to play unselfishly and to help each other out. You know, that's what it takes to be successful out here. You know, I, you know, and that's what, that's just all what we all want when we come out here. I know that's just what we all want. We want good ball. We, we don't want to see, even if it happens to the other team and we're playing, like, of course, we're going to get more rep and stuff like that. But do I like to score to hit a three pointer up 40 and then their guy on their team is getting defense a three on purpose, offense a three on purpose. Like, no, I don't want to see that. That's not what I. That's not what I come out here to see. You know, we score right there, and they're getting blown out. They're still trying to play. Y'all come out here and you give your effort. You know, you know nobody's coming out here to coming out here to play some basketball, win, lose, draw. Like, coming out here to grind our players. Coming out here to have a good time. Like, you know, we don't we don't work a full day of work. We don't work eight hours to get home and get our time wasted while we're trying to play the game. You know.
So that's the common understanding we gotta have with each other, yo. Is a, uh, you know, we have miscommunications without communicating. You know, we have misunderstandings. You know, some people look you off on a pass. As long as they're not doing it eight, nine times a game over and over again, you know. Like I said we're all looking right here. I mean, this game's. I mean, I'm glad I took this game to kind of live, co randomly pick to live commentate over because. I mean, look at the shot. Four, eleven, four, four, two. Like, see, he's got he's got double everybody's shots, but that's fine. Somebody's got to be the star of the team. Someone's got to be the. Someone's got to be. Oh shoot! Someone's got to be the. Uh, someone's got to be the scorer. Somebody's got to take the shots, and he's taking the shots right now. You know, he's missing some, but he's taking, and he's. You know, I feel like we're playing good basketball. If you're watching the game, I feel like everybody could agree we're playing some good ball. You know, sometimes we're gonna take bad shots. Sometimes we're gonna take good shots. It is what it is, basketball. Yeah, when I see stuff like, you know, people are disappointed with how many shots they got. People are, like, mad of this or that. Someone's throwing turnovers. Like, the point guard made two bad passes, and now you're distraught over it. You want the ball. Like, like usually if I throw a couple turnovers, I actually give somebody else the ball just, like, because I know, I like, I, I'm sympathetic to that. Like, you don't want to see the point guard. Damn, that motherfucker. He chicken. He money balls. But, like... I'm sympathetic to that. Like, if I turn the ball over two times, somebody should somebody should come take it from me and take it for a possession or two. Give me, a, and that's why I'll pass it up. I'll be like, all right, cool. I made a mistake. Here you go. I'm gonna take it from me. I always give somebody the chance to rock with it. And that that's that's just what we all gotta have in mind, you know. Sometimes we come out here with a five with our five boys, and we're out here doing. It. Sometimes we come out here with three of our boys, and three is uh, 60 percent. You got 60 percent of the players on the floor on your team, and you know y'all are. Icing two guys out of the team completely, you know, that's what happens. It's tough Sometimes I understand but I think more often I don't know if there was a wreck up there recently that I heard about but you know I feel like everybody's I'm seeing less squads. It feels like I'm seeing more I'm seeing more uh, Just pickups it feels more pickups like like I, I haven't been running into two three zone a lot like It's been a lot different recently. So Comment in the comment section if you all felt the same way. I think I did see somebody's video saying there was a rec, rec update. Not 100% sure, but... Like I said, flopping is a thing, like... You could tell when somebody's flopping, like, disrespectfully, or somebody's flopping because they're destroyed. Like, I'd be flopping when something crazy happens in the game that's, like, bad, like... Like, someone blocks a shot and it flies up in there and drops in the hoop. I'll flop for that. Like, I'll flop because it's funny. But... Yeah, like I said, we just all got to keep it respectful. We come out here to play the game. I said, you didn't play pickup ball at your local college at at the YMCA. You didn't play ball and uh and go out there and uh just be disrespectful to people. Y'all trying to hoop? I don't know how many times I ever ran out there and teammates was being disrespectful towards each other and stuff. Sometimes the games get heated and dudes be shoving each other and stuff like that. But like that's that's other team stuff. That's just the, that's just passion for the game. I'm going on, but like, I don't never see teammates like getting mad at each other over some dude taking a lot of shots. So that, I mean, you don't see that that much. Like, like I said, we just got to be normal people about it. We all hoopers, man. We come out here. We've all played the game of basketball. We all see. We've all played, watched, or been a part of the game of basketball. You know, it's in some fashion. So, you know, 2K is a fun game, man. It's as fun as we make it. You know, if people come out here and they do make it a toxic environment they're flopping they're they're throwing up full court shots like you know it, it makes the game not fun like wow we don't want to play this game no more let's go play mlb to show 22. who copped that i haven't played a baseball game in a lot of years you know i've been just grinding the 2k for a long time so right, let me know if y'all copped the mlb 22 show and what y'all think about that game um but back to it you know we make the game as fun as we make it for ourselves like Look at this game, like most games y'all see, like y'all see what my averages are. Like most games, I'm the guy, I'm doing a lot of the work, you know, I'm I'm dishing out the dimes, I'm facilitating the offense, I'm leading the brigade, you know. But you see this game, look at 10 points, 8 assists, 3 steals, you know, I'm just doing my little thing. Four, 4 shots, I'm cool, I'm having a good time. I'm playing some defense, getting some steals. You know, I feel like we're playing good ball. As long as we're playing good ball, I'm always game. I'm a big fan of just good basketball. Speaking of that, uh... If y'all made it to this far, this far in the video, what did y'all think about that Pelicans-Lakers game, man? A huge game for the Lakers. 
it was a huge game for both teams really pelicans kind of almost punch like darn near punch their ticket into the into the plan almost not yet a couple more games they got to play the blazers one more time you know that that might do the job but um what y'all think about that game man lebron was going crazy ad was getting his stuff off like russ had a good little like four minute stretch before the rest of the game he just didn't do much um yeah, what y'all think about that game man i really saw i saw two great duos go at it that's what i saw you know and it ended how it ended you know i think the team shot combined 60 free throws i don't like seeing a lot of free throws but you know there were some hard fouls out there some hard basketball being played i love seeing the lakers effort level that high like you don't never see the lakers this year playing that hard you could just tell like they they felt like you can just tell how much they loved having their full team there and like they were really playing for each other and i'm not a lakers fan y'all but you know i just noticed you could tell lebron's diving over chairs like you know they you could just see they're all playing for each other out there but you know they came up short shout out to ingram and cj cj mccollum i mean how cj mccollum is just he's really an artist on offense man he does a lot of great things on offense he's so smooth with the rock you know you know, I can't see what the I can't wait to see what the future holds for him on the Pelicans team next year and stuff going forward. You know, maybe they play the play in and win a play in game and really make something happen, which will probably happen actually. They play the Spurs, it'll be a decent game. Pelicans could win that and they could get out the plan. And they're not a great team. You see, they got they got solid players. They got to work on some of that depth on their roster, stuff like that. But man, like. It was a great game to watch, man. Like I said, it got a little ugly at some points in the game, but I thought it was just a great battle. And now the Lakers are a game behind the Spurs. The Spurs have the tiebreaker with like five games remaining, I believe. So like, it's gonna be tough. Let me get mine, hey. Hey man, don't flop, don't flop. Come on, let me get busy. Uh, what's it called? Flopping is so interesting they put that in the game. Like, how many years ago did they put that in the game, y'all? Anybody remember? You just tap, double circle, double B, and then you just fall on the ground. It's crazy. Because I think, I mean, obviously it was a mechanic meant to, like, sell a foul. Like, if somebody runs up and hits you and you flop, like... But I don't think anybody's ever... Have you ever taken a charge tapping double circle? <laughs> like, I mean, this year they added the taking the charge without clicking a button if somebody's running into you, which kind of, like, counteracts the blow buys and stuff from, like, 2K18. People just run into you, run by you, and go dunk the ball. But here you go, buddy. Bang bang. Yeah, I got a cute little stat line. A cute little stat line. I'm making my shots. Um. But yeah, man. Going back to that Pelicans Lakers game, man. That was something. You realize how much fun, how much more fun the game is when you get to watch AD and LeBron play. It's just crazy if you think about like how much LeBron's games evolved over the years. LeBron's games evolved so much over the years, it's crazy. Like, he, he went from a guy that you literally leave open and you, you gap on defense to being a guy that you literally, like, when I see LeBron now, he's a, a step slower, but he still gets to the bucket. But now I'm thinking, like, yo, step up on him. Like, make him drive to the bucket. Like, make him work to get to the basket. Like, make him, make him use energy. Like, it's kind of crazy. Crazy to see. And like I see him hitting all those step back threes and it's just nuts like seeing where he came from because like he not used to shoot the ball like this and he's really shooting it now. But it's kind of crazy to think that the Lakers might not make the play-in. What do y'all think, man? If y'all here in the videos, uh, if y'all stay for the whole thing, basically, uh, what do y'all think? Y'all think, uh, y'all think the Lakers are going to make the play-in? And do you think they're going to make the playoffs? Those are the two things. Are they going to make the play-in and are they going to make the playoffs? That's why I got to know. Because me, personally, I took them to not make the playoffs. I don't think they're going to make the play-in. You got the Spurs. They got another game against the Blazers on Sunday, I think. That's a free win. Lakers got to play the Nuggets twice, the Suns. They get OKC one time, and they get to play the Warriors without stuff. It's going to be tough. I mean, the Spurs have been playing some great basketball lately, too. You know, they've been playing great basketball. They, they should have beat the Grizzlies the other night. Kelvin Johnson missed the game winning layup. They've just been playing great ball, though. Uh, 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 defense, 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 defense. Good D in the paint. And we're just running breaks. Love to see it. Playing some good ball out here. 
I got 13 points, 9 assists, and this is probably one of like the lower active games I'd be having at the guard position too, but it's, it's cool. You know me, I love defense, man. I'm a Bulls fan, so I came from the the heart of my, of me being a fan of basketball was when the Bulls had Joe Kim Noah, they had Luol Dang, Kirk Heinrich, we had some gritty boys out there. Joe Kim Noah was, listen, love or hate Joe Kim Noah, like that's, you either love him or you hate him, but hey, he's the, he's the best. He's the best worst ball player of all time. I don't think there's ever been a basketball player as bad as him that's as good as him. Like he was horrible, but he was so good, man. Like I always remember, I tell my buddies all the time about uh, game seven against the Nets. Uh, Lou Aldang was out, Kirk Heinrich was out, and Jimmy Butler was young, so he got th like thrusted into the lineup. And we had um, Nate Robinson that year. Nate Robinson had that crazy for, uh, game early in the series. but. But yeah, the game seven I'm talking about. We lost game six at the United Center in Chicago. And we were hurt that game. That was that, that was the first game we didn't have Dang or Heinrich. I don't know. We might not have Heinrich for early games. That was the first game we didn't have Dang. And Dang's a big part of the Bulls, if y'all remember that. Game six, we go out there and lose. Joe Kim Noah goes to the presser. He says, we're going to Brooklyn. We're winning. I'm not worried about it. He said, we go, we're going to Brooklyn. We're winning game seven. Not worried about it. What else is he supposed to say? Yeah, but when you listen to Joe Kim talk, he talks with conviction. He means what he says. And listen, he said, we're going to Brooklyn, we're winning game seven. That man goes in there. If y'all haven't seen, go watch the highlights. This man, Joe Kim Noah, goes in there game seven, has 24 points, 14 rebounds, and six blocks, at least six blocks against Brooke Lopez and Joe Johnson and Darren Williams and them. Darren Williams played out of his mind that series, or at least that game. But Joe Kim Noah, 24, 14, and six. Bellinelli had 20-something, and it was just crazy. And we won game seven. We got to go play Miami without Derek. We didn't have Derek Rose because he had tore his ACL the year before in the playoffs. So we this is the season he missed the whole season. And we played without him. Still won 50-something games. Uh, still got to the second round of the playoffs. Still beat the Heat one time. And Joe Kim Noah was first team All-NBA. Beautiful season, man. <laughs> that, that's where I come from. I come from defense. So back to the point. I come from defensive gritty teams. So, you know, when I come out here... Like, if I'm not in the offense, that's fine. You know, sometimes I'm not going to be. I see my my point guard's killing him, man. He's doing his thing. He threw three assists right off the gate. Man, he must have watched the video, man. You in here watching the videos? He must have watched the point guard video because he came in here, threw them three assists, looked to pass early, and then he's he just been scoring that thing since. Like, we're all leaking out. Look at, shoot your shot, Doug. <laughs> Yeah, and th some of these guys are probably in a party with each other. Some of these guys are probably like cool with each other. You know what it is. With if you're an odd man out, sometimes you're an odd man out. You know, you can back out next, take your win, take your rep for winning and stuff like that. Take whatever looks you get and to the next game with it. To the next game with it, you can back out, get a new team, whatever. But you know, you don't have to waste everybody's 30 minutes of game time because I would tell people, and I highly recommend it before. Please, if before you want to get defense at three on purpose, offense at three on purpose, or waste all the time out, just quit the game. Just dashboard. Just dashboard. Let them play with the computer. Let them figure it out on their own. But don't don't waste the game for everybody. You can you can dashboard, come back to the rack, get a new team right away. Double double? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's, it's fun, man. You know, I, I enjoy this rec stuff. I don't know how much. Let me know if y'all enjoyed this 2K. How much y'all enjoyed this 2K. Because, like, a lot of people be saying all the time, like, it's popular. Like, it's a popular trend. People hate on 2Ks. They just, like, ah, the game's ass. Game's not good. I love this game, man. Every year, I love, I love the game. It has different, it brings different things, you know. Some games, they might actually be a little bad, but I just like a new game. It brings, it brings new elements. It brings new things every year. You know, I enjoy learning the game, you know, it's fun. And this this right here is a good game, man. Shooting guard's got 21 shots, 30 points. Point guard, 14 shots. You know, I got my six. I got a double-double with four steals. You make sure, like I said, if you if you feel like you're not getting a crazy roll in the offense, play defense. Play a lot of defense. Try to get steals. Try to get blocks. Try to do your thing. And that's why I say coming out on the rack on like a 6-7 player, 6-7, six, 6-8, six, 6-9, six, six, that can maybe dribble a little bit and, and shoot and do everything. Come out here with a player with size and 90 steel and some block. So you can really, like... So you can really, like, be effective on defense. Don't come out here on a 5-7 shooting guard that so you can't do nothing. Give yourself a chance to do some extra work. 
like I said, y'all, don't be toxic to each other. You know, trust each other's games. If something happens, just dashboard. You don't gotta waste everybody's time. People worked all day, came home and played the game. Anything like that. Uh, you know, move the ball. Don't let the ball stick to your hands for like five, six seconds. Like the max you should have the ball in your hands is five seconds, six seconds. Gives yourself enough time to work, make a couple moves. If not, dish the rock off, move the ball around. You know, work the pick and roll, do anything like that. Like pass the ball. Uh, and in defense, pl everybody play unselfishly. Play unselfishly. If teams are rapping and running rap stuff, help help the helper. You know. If you see somebody's open, help that person out. Help play some defense on their man. And then the next person you see that they're helping, you help them too. It's help the help. It's simple basketball stuff that we all grew up on. We all we all been a part of. We all watched, you know, played. I said, respect each other's time, yo. We're all trying to come out here and just have good a good hoop session. You know what? Like, we just all got to be common, good people to each other and just play the game, man. You know, if people are trolling you and they, you know, they get what they deserve, but... You know, we come out here to play some good pickup basketball, play some good games, and uh, that's all we're here for. You know, either way, we're just here for good games, good time, and, you know, let's just get after it, man. I hope to run into some of y'all in the rack, um, play with some of y'all, play against some of y'all, and that's what it is. So, uh, appreciate everybody for coming to the videos, everybody who's been pulling up. You know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, like the video, comment in the comment section, anything I asked about during the video and you know just keep showing love keep showing support keep watching the videos y'all keep telling your friends about about the channel you know anybody you know that's got a youtube just tell them to sub up man it's free previous subscribe on youtube it doesn't cost nothing you know, let's just keep showing love keep showing support and i'm gonna keep putting out these videos as much as i can y'all i've been pushing out a lot of videos the past two weeks i'm gonna keep trying to do that for y'all um i can't guarantee a video tomorrow uh but tomorrow, well, when you get the video, it's going to be Saturday. Can't promise a video on Sunday, but we'll be back at it for sure on Monday. You know, I got things to do on Saturday night. But uh, we'll have something for you on uh, Monday for sure. But if I get you something on Sunday, man, because y'all showed so much love and I appreciate that. But uh, shout out to all y'all, man. Keep showing the love. Keep doing your thing. I'm going to keep doing my thing. Peace and love, y'all, man. Take it easy.